Astendoa Yachts has been building boats for over 100 years, and they've got four generations of expertise under their belt. This one is a 2020 66 that's named Labrada. We're gonna show you guys around, give you an idea of what makes them so unique and all the cool features that you find strictly on an Astendoa. I'm Will Knopfsinger with Dennis & Yachting. Welcome aboard Labrada. As we walk through the boat, I think you're gonna see that Astendoa builds a really quality product. She features 1350 Volvo IPSs, three docking stations, and even has a Seakeeper 9. The 66 Astendoa carries a 17.4 beam and just a 4.9 draft, making her one of the shallowest drafts for her category. Due to some inclement weather, we weren't able to get you guys the proper running footage, but I can attest to this being one of the most stable boats offshore in a rough sea that I'm gonna find for a 66 footer. Up here on the flybridge, Aston Doe did a great job of keeping the sporty look, as you can see by some of our cushions, but with a practical elegance where everything seems to flow nicely. In the aft section, currently you see it in a flat sun pad, but you've got chaise style so you can pop it up and have a nice backrest. As we move forward from the sun pad, we've got a little shower here, which comes in handy when it's really, really hot, and that takes us into the formal outdoor dining area here. And as we continue forward from there, we come to one of the more unique features on this yacht, the louvered sunroof overhead, so both areas can kind of have nice sunlight should you wish. You bought a flybridge boat because you want an awesome flybridge. And some of the most important features are having things like a real summer kitchen here, so you can cook everything you need with a grill, a refrigerator, a wet bar, ice maker. Everything you need to service this entire space is found here. Just in front of that dining area here to starboard, we've got a nice lounging space for two or three people. And then here to port, we've got our sporty captain seats. Just in front of that, our console. It's black, so you don't have bad reflection. And then we've got all our controls. Volvo throttles, joystick, and bow thruster controls. It's also nice that this will drop down and conceal your Garmin unit, keeping it out of the elements. Just took the stairs from the helm down here to the cockpit. And this aft deck space is excellent. It's got a lot of unique features that sets it apart from the competition. One of them being how this is configurable in the dining position like you see now, or it lays flat and gives you a great sun pad. Another nice aspect back here is this shade that drops down. It gives you a little bit more protection from the sun and also an extra element of privacy. The docking station here on the port side is the last thing I'll point out for the cockpit. Here, you've got all the instruments that you're gonna need when it comes to docking and great visibility. The 66 was set up with a Euro-style transom. We've got access down to the swim platform, both to port and starboard. Stepping down here, we get to our hydraulic swim platform so you can easily take a tender and drop it in and out of the water. And on the starboard side, the controls for that swim platform. Let's go check out the foredeck next. But as we head up there, there's a couple of things that stand out. We've got really nice gunnels, so extra protection to feel safe, and a little bit more protection from the elements overhead as you walk forward. We've got access to the helm station through an electronic door, easy access for a docking situation. And then we'll continue up and check out what everybody wants on a yacht like this these days. Nice seating area that's coupled with a sun pad, shade from this little clamshell awning, so you get the best of both worlds and more entertainment than you used to get on older models. Rounding out this space, it's also home to all of our ground tackle. So we've got our windlass here with foot controls and great visibility from both helm stations when you're doing it. I can't emphasize enough how awesome it is to have a galley aft. It's probably my favorite configuration on a yacht. When you see what it does from a service standpoint, having a refrigerator right here between the two places you spend most, it's awesome. Everything in this boat is built by Miele as far as appliances go. And if you check it out, we've got a full-size refrigerator, freezer underneath, cooktop here, microwave, sink, an excellent woodwork package and a yacht this size having a dishwasher, pretty rare. The other great thing about having a galley with this configuration is nothing feels like it's on top of itself, which most boats, when they're all on one side, do. Here, we've got a nice wine cooler 
tons of storage, and a great coffee bar slash prep area. So whenever you guys cook that nice meal, or when you wake up in the morning, you've got enough space to feel comfortable. The other nice thing about a galley aft, and especially how Astadoa did it, is that it flows super nicely into your salon. So here, we've got opposite facing sofas, gives you a great conversation pit, makes a perfect movie night with the TV when it pops up here. Massive windows that make you really connect with the sea that surrounds you, which is important when it comes to owning a yacht. And this is your indoor formal dining. It folds open, has storage beneath. Just forward of this, we've got the helm, one of the more exciting features on board any yacht. These diamond stitched leather chairs face a really cool floating monitor setup that feels very futuristic, almost spaceship-like. Big windows, able to see back on the corners, the boat's visibility forward, excellent. It's a joy to drive this, especially doing 32 knots. So on this super cool display, you've got your ship system that's from Aston Doe and it shows you everything you're gonna to wanna to know about your fuel tanks, how everything's running in the boat. Just behind that, we got our compass, our throttles, our IPS controls making it super easy to dock and a bow thruster in front just in case you need extra. From the salon, let's head down the staircase to the lower level accommodations. First, we're gonna head forward and check out the VIP. When you step inside, you've got a full walk around queen size berth center line and all the accoutrements you would expect to find in a home that was built yesterday, including USB ports to easily charge your phone. There's also an ensuite that leaves nothing to be desired as far as decor and size. All the fittings and fixtures are evidently super nice, well-built, high-end, just like you'd expect to find on a yacht of this caliber. As we head aft, right here where the staircase ends, there's a day head, which is convenient so nobody has to go through a stateroom should they need to use it. This connects to one of two guest staterooms. We'll head there next. And it's surprisingly large for a yacht that's 66 feet when you carry four staterooms. It features a side-by-side -side berth configuration that face forward where you have a TV and a full-size closet. As you walk aft here on the port side is the third guest stateroom. This stateroom is well-placed if you have small children, so you have quick access to them from the master, which we're gonna head to next. Stepping inside the master yields a full beam with huge windows. The reason we're able to configure four staterooms in a yacht this size and have all of them functional is because of those Volvo IPSs. Not only do they give you ease of docking and maneuverability, but huge space inside, especially here in the master stateroom. Flat screen on the wall, a nice settee that's positioned under the window, awesome for reading a book, full-size closet, and it's a really cool mood change when you step back into the head. So back here, it feels like you stepped into a spa, and I know that sounds cliche, but I think, especially as you transition from the darker woods into this lighter, it just makes you feel like you went into a completely different space. From here, we're gonna head back upstairs through the salon and galley down to the crew quarters. The configuration is actually really good for both the size, offering two beds, a full walk-in head with shower and glass door, and even handy access into the engine room, which is great when you have a captain on board. Moving inside to have almost six and a half feet of headroom is incredible. Down here, we have our Volvo 1350 pods, capable of propelling this boat at 32 plus knots, Ford and center line here in the engine room, you'll see our Seakeeper 9. And here on the port side, we've got our Cummins Onan generator coming in at 21 and a half kW. When we sea trialed this boat, it was in good size five footers and the boat performed incredible, especially with that Seakeeper 9. It was a pleasure having you on board and checking out the 66 Aston Doa. Again, I'm Will Nofsinger with Dennis and Yachting. If you've got any questions, would like to set up a showing or need more information, contact me or my wife, Carrie, anytime. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.